Talking only goes so far. I'm Ashley, I'm the lead mentor with Mentor Me, and I'm here to bust up a common myth when it comes to career development. And that is that networking is everything, that you can get anywhere by who you know and how well you know them. It's simply not true, and it's particularly not true for underrepresented minority uh, folks, for women, for people with disabilities who are differently abled. Um, just networking your way to the top isn't gonna work. But so many high achieving professionals, particularly women, believe that networking is all they need to do to advance their career. And so they're spending way too much time going to networking events, thinking of it's about all, all about who you know, going to um, community-based events, and while networking is still a valuable strategy in helping you advance your career it only goes so far and instead of spending all of your time thinking about networking thinking about who you know going to networking events trying to go to conferences and smooth with the right people I really want to invite you to think about how you can leverage the skills talent expertise degrees credentials certifications years of experience and people that you already know to really help Help advance your career. Too often we are playing a game of deficits where we don't have this, we don't have that, we don't have this, and you're buying into the strategy that if you just knew more people, if you just had a larger network, if you just knew the right people, if you just went to the right events, you could finally advance your career. And that strategy, not only does it not work, but it's also really defeating. It has you feeling depleted and like you'll never meet the right people or you'll never get in the right rooms to actually advance. But I'm here to tell you you that networking only goes so far and while it is valuable to build meaningful and connected relationships with people in your field or in, with people who are in fields that you want to work in um, those relationships while they can often speak your name in rooms that you're not in or signal boost you for opportunities it only goes so far um, you need to be able to speak to the value of your expertise yourself and not just rely on a network of people to do it for you 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 need to be able to speak to the value of the expertise, the outcomes that you've driven over the course of your career, why an employer should hire you more than hire someone else, right? And too often, what I think happens is that we end up in a space where um, we're just, we think it's just about who we know, and then we get bitter and resentful when people don't signal boost us, when they don't say our names in the rooms, when we don't get the shine that we think that we deserve. And so instead of staking your entire career on who you know or how you can get into certain rooms, I really want to invite you to take a skills based approach to your career development. And this skills based approach to your career development isn't going to Required that you get new skills because here's the truth so many of you already have the skills knowledge talent expertise degrees credentials certifications you need to advance your career you don't need another degree you don't need another certification you don't have to go back to school but moreover what I want you to focus on is how can I best leverage right how can I best use how can I best amplify the skills the knowledge the talent the expertise that I already have how can I best amplify that and how can I do that in a way um, that's connected with what employers are looking for right now in their top paid and most valuable valued employees and once we can figure that out right once we can do that work once we can get clear on exactly what we're good at and how to leverage what we're good at to advance our careers that's when we can truly get out of the rat race that is networking and the rat race and, and lie that's all about who you know and actually center our career development in our own skills center our career development in our own values, center our career development in um, who we are and how we show up in the world. And, you know, I get it. I understand why networking is so popular and why so many people preach that it's the way to the top, right? They want you to pay to have access to them. They want you to pay to be in the rooms, to pay to go to the conferences, to pay to advance. It's, it's a tool of capitalism, right? Um, but it's a tool that... Um, doesn't work for so many audiences, for so many people. And let me tell you why, right? So many industries are white and male dominated, right? Um, to get into those rooms, you have to be like the people who are already in the rooms. And, you know, for, you know, the 
global ma majority, right? You're never going to be a white male, right? You're never going to, as much as you can aspire, right? You're never going to um, share that identity. And moreover, you don't want to be the token in a room full of um, people with that identity. You want to work for an organization. You want to be a part of a community that values the identity that you have and that you're not just the chosen one or the golden one, right? You want to be a part of a community that sees the value of you beyond, you know, the color of your skin, but sees the value of your expertise, the value of the knowledge that you bring and is excited to have you a part of their team so that they can leverage that knowledge to advance their organizational goals, And right? And so with that in mind, I think that so the, the whole idea of networking um, like is this like required access that someone has to give you a seat at the table that someone has to um, invite you into a room and you know what if you never get that invitation what if your personality doesn't match with those who are in the space right that that would mean that you would never be able to advance your career but I see more and more the market moving to a skills based approach where employers are simply looking for the professional with the a lot the most aligned skills and let me be clear, that doesn't mean the most skills. It means the most aligned skills, right? That means the skills that are most aligned with what the employer is looking for, right? Instead of, you know, oh, I know this person and I know that person and this I'm waiting on this person to put me on. I'm waiting on this person to speak my name in a room. Moreover, I want to invite you to think about what skills, knowledge, talent, expertise, degrees, credentials, certifications, how does my years of experience that I already have qualify me to be in that room? And how can I highlight that for the, my employer? Employer of choice um, to not only get in the room but to excel and grow and to build a sustainable career in that room right it's not just about getting in the room or getting a foot in the door right and I often tell my mentees you know who are like well maybe I just need to get my foot in the door I just need to get my foot in the door girl you're gonna have your foot in the door and then the employer is gonna slam it on your foot again and again because you're not the right fit because you don't really want the job because the job is not aligned with your values because your skill set isn't aligned with what they're looking for right and so instead of trying to wiggle your way in to a spot that um, you don't even want to be in or isn't really aligned with your values, why don't you shift your focus to what am I good at and what's, what job opportunities, what career paths will allow me to do that? in the most impactful way. And I know that that is contradictory to what so much of career development is about, right? It's all about chasing um, you know, the opportunities that you think are available. But I really want to invite you to shift your focus. I want to invite you to be you-led, to be you-centered, to be valued-centered, and to really focus your career development on who you are and the values you have and how those are most aligned with um, the roles that are existing in the industry, not the other way around. Um, and, you know, when it comes to networking, if you are going to network or you are going to use that expertise or leverage that um that skill set, you know, I invite you to use networking in a way that at, where you're adding value to the conversation as well. I think that so often when it comes to networking, people feel like it's all about who you know, but the greatest networkers know that it's about knowing yourself and it's about knowing your value and knowing what you bring to those rooms and being able to effectively share that in the rooms that you're in, right? And so I really want to invite you to think less about like who's in the room, who do I need to know, how do I, you know, show up, you know, in that room so they'll like me, but moreover, what am I good at? What value am I bringing to the rooms that I am in and how am I articulating that value? And if that's something that you need support with, if you're, you're struggling to um, understand how you should show up in spaces, um, how you can effectively use networking, then I want to invite you into mentorship. And I'm accepting new mentees. If you are a professional woman who works in corporate, nonprofit, or educational leadership, and you're looking to advance your career, that advancement could be finding and securing a new job. It could be moving up in your current organization. It could be transitioning industries. If it's a priority for you to do that uh, between now and um, the end of January, and the time for you to get support in your career development is now. I'm accepting new mentees for November, December, and January right now. So I want to invite you into mentorship and I want to in, in, invite you to move away from anything that would... Um, that would have you networking only, right? That that That's only about who you know, right? Because that strategy only goes so far. I really want to invite you into 
a system and a, and a process that's going to work and that's what my mentorship programs are are um, i am so excited to help you advance your career if you have any questions about what else you should be doing in your career besides networking or any um, questions about how to network effectively to use it along with a number of other strategies that you should be using to advance your career then go ahead and put them in the comment section and i will answer them thanks so much for watching bye